Chapter 29 Then Yaqub went on his journey, and came into the land of the people of the east. And he looked, and behold a well in the field, and lo, there were three flocks of sheep lying by it. For out of that well they watered their flocks, and a great stone was upon the well's mouth. And thither there were all the flocks gathered, and they rolled the stone from the well's mouth, and watered the sheep, and put the stone again upon the well's mouth in his place. And Yaqub said unto them, My brethren, whence be ye? And they said, Of Haran are we. And he said unto them, Know we Laban the son of Nacor? And they said, We know him. And he said unto them, Is he well? And they said, He is well. And behold, Rachel his daughter comes with the sheep. And he said, Lo, it is it yet high day? Neither is it time that the cattle should be gathered together. Water ye the sheep, and go and feed them. And they said, We cannot until all the flocks be gathered together, until they roll the stone from the well's mouth. Then we water the sheep. And while he spoke with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she kept them. And it came to pass, when Yaqub saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, and the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother, that Yaqub went near and rolled the stone from the well's mouth, and watered the flock of Laban, his mother's brother. And Yaqub kissed Rachel, and lifted up his voice, and wept. And Yaqub told Rachel that he was his father's brother, and that he was Ripka's son. And she ran and told her father. And it came to pass when Laban heard the tidings of Yaqub, his sister's son, that he ran to meet him, and embraced him, and kissed him, and brought him to his house. And he told Laban all these things. And Laban said to him, Surely you are my bone and my flesh. And he abode with him the space of a month. And Laban said unto Yaqub, Because you are my brother, should you therefore serve me for naught? Tell me, what shall your rages be? And Laban had two daughters. The name of the elder was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. And Leah was tender-eyed, but Rachel was beautiful and well-favored. And Yaqub loved Rachel, and said, I will serve you seven years for Rachel, your younger daughter. And Laban said, It is better that I give her to you, than that I should give her to another man. Abide with me. And Yaqub served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed unto him but a few days for the love he had to her. And Yaqub said unto Laban, Give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled, that I may go in unto her. And Laban gathered together all the men of the place, and made a feast. And it came to pass in the evening that he took Leah his daughter, and brought her to him, and he went in unto her. And Laban gave unto his daughter Leah Zilpah his maid for a handmaid. And it came to pass that in the morning, behold, it was Leah. And he said to Laban, What is this you have done unto me? Did not I serve with you for Rachel? Wherefore then have you beguiled me? And Laban said, It must not be so done in our country to give the younger before the firstborn. Fulfill her week, and we will give you this also for the service which you shall serve with me yet seven other years. And Yaqub did so, and fulfilled her week, and he gave him Rachel, his daughter, to be his wife also. And Laban gave to Rachel his daughter Bila, his handmaid, to be her maid. And he went in also unto El Rachel, and he loved also Rachel more than Leah, and served with him yet seven other years. And when Yahuwah saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. And Leah conceived and bore a son, and she called his name Reuben, but she said, Surely Yahuwah has looked upon my affliction, now therefore my man will love me. And she conceived again, and bore a son, and said, Because Yahuwah has heard that I was hated, 
He has therefore given me this son also. And she called his name Shimon. And she conceived again and bore a son and said, Now this time will my man be joined unto me, because I have borne him three sons. Therefore was his name called Levi. And she conceived again and bore a son. And she said, Now will I praise Yahuwah. Therefore she called his name Yehuda and left bearing.